welcome back to another video of memory hacks memory hack of this week is something very commonly used by almost all students and they are mnemonics we here at biblioren always make sure to use maximum number of mnemonics in our lecture videos to help you all remember better so let's see how mnemonics actually help you number 1 adding associations and creating pattern patterns are something our brain finds easy to remember easy retrieval organizing information making easy retrieval later on and number 3 visualization when we make the mnemonics more interesting and visualize it it is easier to remember so what are the types of mnemonics number 1 mnemonic linking system here we use stories and images with interesting details or even humor to remember a piece of information a perfect example for this would be classification of articulators done by one of our tutors using an interesting story link is given in the description box below in subjects like oral pathology where we have to study numerous clinical conditions and their features mnemonics come handy one such example is treacher colon syndrome and the story used here is my teacher muller from colombia who teaches about jawless mongolian birds and fishes has no ear so you have to visualize your teacher whose name is muller and she's from colombia she's standing in front of the blackboard and there are pictures of jawless mongolian birds and fishes and this teacher does not have a ear so what does this mean it points to the features of trichocolin syndrome such as anti mongoloid palpebral fissures the mongolian birds and fishes become anti mongoloid palpebral fissures bird like or fish like face coloboma colombia becomes coloboma hypoplasia of malar bone and mandible the teacher's name muller and jawless birds and fishes become hypoplasia of malar bone and mandible and the fact that the teacher has no ear actually points to malformation of external middle and inner ear if you can add a bit of humor into such stories it will be retained even better here you choose a keyword that will cue you to think of the foreign word this is particularly useful in learning new languages for example cat is called gato in spanish now how do you remember this imagine a cat sitting on a gate a cat sitting on a gate here gate is the keyword and with the picture in your mind you can easily remember the spanish word for cat number 3 chunking we break down a big piece of information into small bits or chunks as this simplification helps brain to remember better This is something we all use knowingly or unknowingly in remembering phone numbers by breaking them into small chunks. Fourth type of mnemonic is acronym. This is the most commonly used mnemonic. Here word or words formed by the first letter of the items you want to remember are used. Example would be vibjor for the colors of rainbow. Another example is freest for first line of anti tubercular drugs. P for pyrazinamide R for rifampicin, I for isoniazid, E for ethambutol, and S T for streptomycin. The link to this video is given in the description box as well. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Tell us what you think in the comment section below. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell icon so that you don't miss any new videos. Thank you.